largest city in the United States is a park. In that park of 843 acres, there are almost five dozen geocaches. One of those geocaches is a 32-stage multi-cache. Welcome to New York City. We're starting our day in Central Park. And we're here to tackle the 32-stage multi-cache known as... Bridges and Arches. So hey, there's an arch right there, so let's get cracking. Come along with us for this adventure. <laughs> let's go. Look at all the vegetation. The Huddlestone Arch is stop number two on our tour of Central Park. And this uh, arch called for the largest and craziest boulders to be collected to create a more natural looking arch. It looks like the Flintstones. It does. The cache was published on May 31st, 2008. The idea for a multi or puzzle cache first formed in the summer of 2007. A fan of the Da Vinci Code and National Treasure, the CEO thought it would be fun to visit each bridge location to unlock a final location. So on this, uh, on this arch, we have to count the number of circles on the iron railing. You have to count higher than two. Wow. There's over a hundred of them. You better get counting. Yep. <laughs> 56, 57, 58. Oh, where was I? 77, 78, 79. To break up uh, the search for the archers and the bridges, we're on the hunt for a traditional. It's called the Northwoods TV Hotel. And uh, we had to get oriented a little bit with our compass, but I'm up on top of one of the arches and I think I've located it because it's right down here under this rock and there it is. I'm hoping for an ammo can, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, I don't see any. We'll get the, the log signed up. And, well, what's this? Oh, hey, that's a oh, that. Steve the Geocacher trading card. Cool. If you're going to New York, Not you gotta going. have a hot dog. Mmm, warm, mmm, good stuff. Nothing says New York like a good hot dog. Okay, here's the Gothic arch, and for some reason, when I when I saw a Gothic, I just thought of Batman. Oh, can I do my Batman joke? Oh yeah, go ahead, do your Batman joke. Okay. What does Batman like on his toast? I don't know. What does Batman like on his toast? Butter, 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 butter. <laughs> what do we got to do for this one? Uh, so on this one, we have to go under the bridge and get a... We're not under uh, the bridge. I think we took the wrong turn. Okay. We're on top of the bridge. We'll be right back. We've got to go under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> 
there we go. We're oh, under the bridge. <laughs> and uh, what you have to get here is a, there's a green plaque up on the southern port of this bridge, and you have to get the, a digit off of that plaque. And that's what's neat thing about this series that CO has done it very, very well. It's a, done a good job. At each stage, yeah. you have to go to the arch or the bridge, mm -hmm. and then it tells you in the description, the the uh, geocaching description, what to look for, and then you get a digit, and then you have to go through this really complicated. To me, it's complicated. Mathematical equation to get the final digits. Yeah, we'll probably have to do that one later. So on. yeah, we uh, we'll uh, we'll take a little time for that one. This is pretty cool. Wow, it's like really, really neat. It took about nine months of research, testing, coordination with Groundspeak, ordering of coins and personal testing before the cache was ready for launch. Upon completion of the multi, each geocacher is rewarded with a souvenir coin. Over 1,200 have been given out to date and about three to 400 trackable coins have been rewarded through donations to the Park Conservancy and has raised several thousand dollars for the park. Have you any idea where we are? Yeah, we're right here where it says, you are here. Ooh, you are the real smart one. <laughs> <laughs> Close to stop number 10 is the Earth Cache Cleopatra's Needle, New York. The interesting thing about this obelisk is that it has a twin in London, England, and also is an Earth Cache. We could have had that Earth Cache as well, but both were published a month after our visit there in 2014. The archway behind me was refurbished after an incident in 1980 when a snowplow hit into it. Unfortunately, it, it wrecked the, the arch, but fortunately, the whole arch was refurbished to its natural state. Over the arch we go, over the arch we go, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the next the arch, next to we go. go. <laughs> So how do you know if you're in the right spot? Well, the CO has devised a great system. A lot of the bridges have these green plaques on them, and he tells you which digit to use, and you put that into the calculation for the final. Now, if this were to be missing, he has a backup plan, which is usually a number on one of the lamp posts or on a bench, and there's usually a number there, then you can cross-check to make sure you got the right information. It's a great system and, and it's working really, really well. And it's been a lifesaver for us. <laughs> yes. We've had to use the backup once or twice just to make sure. Behind us is the Bethesda Fountain and the Terrace Arch. The Terrace Arch is arguably one of the most intricate of the arches and bridges within the park. We're going to go take a look at that and see what it's like. And we're probably going to spend a bit of time there. And it's raining. <laughs> oh, just a little drizzle. What's a little water to a geocacher? Want to go for a swim? <laughs> Really 
Well, that was a really neat arch and the, the yeah. fountain. We got the information off the phone, although we couldn't see across to save our lives. We didn't see it anywhere. So, so. Uh, fortunately, there's a backup uh, form to that. And we used that. We used that, yeah. And we left a little surprise uh, in the park here for Hailmeister. He's coming <laughs> to visit soon, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. And now we got to go find some more bridges. On to another bridge. We've had a great time in the park today. Each of the bridges or arches we visited are very different. Different styles, different materials being used. It's been a blast. <laughs> We hadn't intended to go all through the day, well, we did. and we're nearing dark, and I think we've got this one done. This is the last arch or bridge that we have to do today. Now we have to go do the math. Yeah, now we'll go do the math. So we're going to take all the numbers with us. We're going to number crunch them. Hopefully we come up with the right number, and then we're tomorrow, here for two days. We're coming back for the final. Yeah, so we'll get the final uh, tomorrow. Right now we're just going to go and enjoy the nightlife. Check out Times Square. Mm -hmm. Yay, we got it! Yahoo! We got it! There we go. <laughs> There's the log book for bridges and arches. <laughs> Took Thir us a whole day. Thir yeah, 32 stages and uh, a it's lot about, of work, a lot of walking. Yeah, and eight maybe, hours it was it took us. Maybe a blister or two. Well, we got it. <laughs> there we go. That's a definite favorite right Ooh. there. Oh, and thank you so much to the CO. This has been a fantastic walk through the park. Awesome, it's very good. Oh, well I worth it. recommend it to anybody. Absolutely, come do this one. Yeah. Give yourself a day.